Hey again everyone, it's Carpo here once again and I promise this video won't be 20 minutes long. <laughs> I'm actually, my alarm will go off in 7 minutes to pick up the kids from school so I figured that would give me a couple minutes to say what I mean. Uh, and that's what this video is really about, is saying what you mean and standing by how you feel and what you say. And it's just because I've noticed this trend in <laughs> not just online or in forums with the average person, you know, having a discussion, but our supposed, you know, representatives, leaders, uh, corporate, you know, uh, the way that uh, co companies are, are, you know, treading lightly around saying anything bad about China, for example, or their human rights because they're making money in China. And that's just one small example. Uh, but so many people in a world, at least in a nation, where we now have, for the most part, freedom of speech, which is something that we take for granted. It's not always been that way uh, in the world. And um, within that free speech realm, we, we can say just about anything we want, but we still bite our tongue. And the reason being is because if people can't punish each other physically for saying things they don't like, then they punish each other through financial means, through pulling funding, through uh, taking away, like, you know, if you're a scientist, say, studying uh, a particular, the damage or uh, dangers of a particular chemical, and you're not finding the results that they want, right? <laughs> then they'll fire you. Find a scientist who will say what they want. Same thing with politicians, you know. You, you keep shopping around until you can lobby a politician to uh, uh, basically lie to the people in order to, you know, back these huge corporate interests. And it's just a daunting thing. And it's, it's hard because even on YouTube, a couple years ago, when there was a lot more, let's just say, it was kind of a cesspool in one way, but on the other hand, people were able to say how they felt, which gives people a view of how people think, which is really important. Because if we're biting our tongues and not saying what we feel and how we think, then it's just another form of self-censorship. And a lot of people like that have disappeared from YouTube and elsewhere, and not just because they were kicked off, but because they couldn't make enough ad revenue. And this became an issue of, wait a minute, we have to ch change what we're going to say so we can cater to advertisers. And this is just constant. We're constantly bombarded. And years ago, I thought, you know, what is the, what is the key? What do we need in order to get ourselves out of this... Uh, ignorance that we have as a species. And I thought education was the key. I really did. And, you know, it was kind of a foolish notion on my part, maybe because I didn't define what education was in my own mind first, because, you know, every school book is written by a human being and a college ha colleges and schools have the same financial uh, interests over the students. Uh, and I don't even want to go into that aspect of it, but uh, I figured it, I, it's not education that's the answer. It's communication. Communication. In other words, talking to one another, talking to people of different backgrounds, different cultures, different races, different ethnicities, interests, different hobbies, everything, to try to get a fuller picture of what people are like and to learn to accept that. And therefore, maybe the things that we feel like we can't say, maybe we don't want to say them, you know, in the first place. In other words, people feel, they often feel like they can't say what they mean because then they're going to be attacked by their fellow man. Often this is the case because what you're saying is uh, offensive or derogatory or just plain wrong. Say you make a scientific study and a claim and, you know, you're like taking it personal because somebody doesn't agree with your study. I mean, you have to eliminate associating yourself personally with these beliefs or ideas or whatever we might hold. But um, what got me thinking about this is how years ago I was reading this paper when I was going through some paperwork and I found this old thing from David Serrata and who was like this guy who sells these quantum pendants that protect you from, you know, whatever. I, it's just this new age hokey crap. And I, and I remember, remember way back in the day when I was into this idea of finding enlightenment and truth and discovering this, you know, path to fulfillment. Um, and you can kind of delude yourself for a while on that path. And then you find that the enlightenment's always there. You just have to kind of chip away. Um, and that it's going to change with time, just like we change over time. And we can't be so rigid in our ways. So if we do say what we mean, we might not mean it five years later. I can look back on some of my old videos and I was like, I'm convinced that the universe, this and this, and that, you know, it's all about growth or all about humans doing this. I was just trying to find my own way and I still am. Um, so 
I guess my message is to be liked for who you are, which means speak up, say the things that you mean, and stand by how you feel about things. If you see something that seems wrong with the world, speak up on it. And sure, it's like when I talk about uh, climate change. I instantly get attacked by a bunch of climate change skeptics. That's fine, because I'm a skeptic too. I I'm not a skeptic that we're damaging our environment, but I don't know if the Earth regulates itself or what the end result will be, but it has to be talked about. And that's an important point, because we put each other down over subjects that nobody really knows the answer to. And then we build a connection to this idea like, no, I believe this and so it's true. And so when somebody says, oh, I don't, I don't agree on that, a person takes it personally and it becomes an ad hominem attack. It's taken that way on the person. Um, and I guess the reason I'm making this video is just to encourage people to use your voice. Always. If you see something going on that is awesome, speak up on it. If you see something that's wrong, speak up on it. If you see somebody out in public who's, you know, beating up on their kids or doing something horrible to somebody else or, you know, it's easier to just walk away and say, oh, well, it's my, not my business. My belief is as a citizen, everything is your business. If it's out in your public realm, to an extent, you've got to use your mind. <laughs> you know, not everybody's business is yours. That's not what I'm saying. But not enough people do speak up when they see things that are wrong with the world or with others or with ideas, beliefs. And there goes my alarm, which means my seven minutes is up. So stand up for who you are, be who you are, say what you mean, and don't be afraid to change your mind when you discover new realities. <laughs> be well, peeps.